Hello, my name is Eric, and I have a question for you. What does Vatso, Vitso, and Lizzo have in common? Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. To answer that question, what does Vatso, Vizzo, and Lizzo have in common? And after I did a couple of investigations and Googling and reading up, nothing. You might say to me, so what do you ask that dumb question for? Well, I never knew who Lizzo was, and I still don't really much know about much about Liz Lizzo, until it was all in the news about her lawsuit. And then I was reading up on the headlines what her dancers was accusing her of. And this thing came to my mind, mind you, I'm an old man now. This thing came to my mind about Ratso Rizzo. You might say, who's Ratso Rizzo? Ratso Rizzo is a character and from the 1969 movie, Midnight Cowboy. And before I, I was going, you know, I got this idea to do a, a podcast on the difference between Ratso Rizzo and Lizzo. That's because of the name. The name rhymes. Had nothing to do with the characters. And um, something says to me, because I don't know who Lizzo, Lizzo is. I'm only going by what the headlines say. So I decided to look at some of her music videos. And then I realized and read some of the stuff on her. No, they have nothing in common. They have nothing in common. For I know, I don't know her personally. And if I knew her personally, I might can really say they have something in common. But as I, as, I, as I was looking at her YouTube stuff, I said, no, they have nothing in common. And you might say, well, what is Ratso Rizzo? Well, Ratso Rizzo, this character that I was, um, I got to like from Midnight Cowboy. You got to see Midnight Cowboy to, uh, <laughs> to get an idea what this character is about. And um, according to when I Google it about what his character is about, how, how and Google how they uh, name his character, and his character, and I can't say the words, and I'm gonna let Google say the words for you. Ratso Rizzo character is anti villainous deuteragonist. <laughs> I can't say that. I guess it's English. It's, it's, I guess it's English, but I can't say it. So anyway, here's the here's the deal. I Google the meaning of what what Google pronunciation just said. And it says that, it describes it as an anti-villain is a character who has heroic personality traits or goals, but is ultimately the bad guy in the story. For example, an anti-villain may have noble goals, but their means to attain their goals are evil. And when I read that, I said, well, that described a lot of people that I knew in my lifetime. And it's one of those things where they say, um, they pat you, they, when they pat you on the back, at the same time they're stabbing you in the back. <laughs> was that, there was a record called, they smile in your face, and all the time they're the backstabbers. I mean, yes, I knew a lot of guys back then, back in the day, back in the 70s, more so in the 70s, but I, as you get older, you get hit. You can read people who, who are like this and you keep your distance from them. But they want to be your friend. They're very friendly. They always come to your house. And every time, you know, and they, you know, always come to your house, always want to help you do this, always, always want to help you do that, you know. They, um, they, they do errands for you and all like this. And then you, you stop and notice, um, Something's missing in your house, but you didn't pay it no mind. 
then you notice that money is missing in your wallet and you, you still like it's not a lot of money maybe a couple of dollars here a couple of dollars there and you might say oh what the hell then you get to realize that the person you know all these things that you think may be missing and you can't find and then they're little things not big things little things and then something big happens. Sometimes if you don't figure out who's doing it or what, what's going on, something big happens. And usually that's when you realize um, the person that you trust who was doing errands for you, helping out cleaning your house and all like this, they're the ones who were stealing money from your wallet. Um, every time you send them to the store, if you send them to the store, they'll come back with, they'll come back what you asked for, but they never give you the correct change. They always keep a dollar here, a dollar there. Those are the people, you know. And I don't know if the same thing as demeaning as anti-villain. But it's to me, it's the same thing. You know, they, they're they helping you. But they're helping you and they're helping themselves behind your back. You know, it's the same thing having a, a best friend. I, I've, I've knew, I've had, I sh shouldn't say friends, but I had a couple of people, you know, back in the day. Especially in the disco days, they come to they come to you to hang with you because you got the liquor and you got the drugs. And as soon as you don't have liquor or don't have drugs or they can't use you anymore, then they talk about you behind your back. But yet, I I have been I shouldn't say heartbroken. I have been heartbroken. Um, you know when you. Meet a, I meet a man that you supposedly in love with, which you are at the time. You don't know if it's love or sex. And and to find that this person who eating your food and person that you putting a roof over their head and and uh, putting clothes on their backs and and you find that uh, when they're supposed to be out there f looking for work or finding work, they're actually hustling. And they're using your house to hustle in. And they use uh, whatever means that you give them to hustle in. If you give somebody, I gave one guy, he say looking for the, a job. I gave him 30 bucks to go look for, for a job. I have a funny suspicion, before I kicked him out, that because he never had a job and my 30 bucks were gone. So I was his benefactor helping him out. And yeah, he was helping me out too. Like I said, doing errands for me, doing this. But at the same time, he was using me to um, buy drugs. Or actually, he was I found out that the money that I was giving him, he was giving to his girlfriend. But anyway, so I have to apologize to Lizzo because here I was ready to have this 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 podcast on how I was comparing. Liz, Lizzo to Ratso Rizzo from Midnight Cowboy, the 1969 movie. And there is no, there is no, like I said, I don't know her that personally. She may be doing all that, but I don't know. I'm just going by, I was just going by the headlines. That's why you got to be very, very careful. I tell everybody, you can't go by news headlines and sensational news because headlines are like sensational. Same thing like, like Twitter. They put these sensational things because they want you to read it. You got to investigate it to find out what they're saying. Is it true or not? So anyway, I apologize for trying to compare Lizzo to Ratso Rizzo. My name is Eric, and thank you for listening to this craziness that lives inside my head.